सम बॉन्ड एंगल्स एंड बॉन्ड लेंथ्स प्रेजेंट इन द रेस्पेक्टेड एरियाज हियर इन नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड द बॉन्ड एंगल बिटवीन दीज टू इज 134 थर्टी फोर डिग्रीज वेर एज द बॉन्ड लेंथ बिटवीन नाइट्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन इज वन ट्वेंटी पिकोमीटर्स हियर वन मोर इन नाइट्रोजन टेट्राक्साइड वी कैन राइट इट एज द प्लेन आर फॉर्म ऑफ नाइट्रोजन टेट्राक्साइड सो इन नाइट्रोजन टेट्राक्साइड the bond length between nitrogen and nitrogen is 175 picometers whereas the bond length between nitrogen and oxygen is 121 picometers and bond angle between nitrogen and oxygen oxygen is 135 degrees similarly in the dinitrogen pentoxide the bond angles expected bond angles and bond lengths are the bond angle between nitrogen oxygen nitrogen bond is 112 degrees and nitrogen oxygen oxygen bond is 134 degrees whereas no bond length is 151 picometers and no this no terminal no bond length is 119 picometers so this is the most important one here the bond angle is nearly 107 degrees so like in this case here is also bond angle 107 degrees this is lewis dot structures or structures of nitrogen oxide so after completion of the discussion regarding this we have to expect one important question from this why nitrogen dioxide dimerizes to produce dinitrogen tetroxide in the previous previous uh, one we explained that nitrogen dioxide two moles of nitrogen dioxide that means two nitrogen dioxide molecules interacts with each other and produces dinitrogen tetroxide why it takes place the answer for this reaction this process will be expected from the from its structure while we are going to represent dinit nitrogen dioxide structure it shows that a single electron expected to present with nitrogen atom that means odd number of valency electrons odd number of valency electrons due to presence of odd number of valency electrons it decreases stability of nitrogen dioxide so this less stable nitrogen dioxide dimerizes means one nitrogen dioxide combines with another nitrogen dioxide to produce n2o4 two moles of nitrogen dioxide finally produces a dimer the resulting dimer of nitrogen dioxide is nitrogen dinitrogen tetroxide which is stable because it is even electron species the number of valency electrons are even in number hence it is even electron species so this is the expected question from this and two importance are nitrous oxide or n2o or dinitrogen monoxide is called as laughing gas and second one why only nitrogen dioxide undergoes dimerization to produce dinitrogen tetroxide only the simple thing nitrogen dinitrogen monoxide having odd number of valency electron due to presence of odd number of valency electron nitrogen dioxide will be unstable so to get the stability two nitrogen dioxides undergoes comb combination that is dimerization to produce even valency electron species that is dinitrogen tetroxide and next one after nitrogen oxides so once again six nitrogen oxides stated by us it's their preparation and oxidation state of nitrogen in the respected nitrogen oxides followed by the lewis structures and bond lengths and bond angles in the respected oxides next topic is nitric oxide nitric sorry nitric acid after completion of the topics related to nitrogen hydrides nh3 that is ammonia nitrogen oxides six nitrogen oxides in these six nitrogen oxides 
nitrogen will show different oxidation state starts from plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and after the discussion of preparation oxidation state names and followed by their structures the next topic is nitric acid here the nitric acid will have the molecular formula HNO3 the oxidation state of nitrogen in nitric oxide nitric acid is plus 5 the oxidation state of nitrogen in nitric acid is plus 5 here nitrogen can form nitrogen can form different oxo acids different oxo acids they named as H2N2O2. H2N2O2 is called as hyponitrous acid. Hyponitrous acid. Whereas one more is HNO2. It is called as nitrous acid. Whereas one more HNO3. What is the name of the compound? Just written by us as side reading that is nitric acid. Whereas the last one HNO4. We can call it as peroxy nitric acid. Peroxy nitric acid. Peroxy nitric acid. So what are these? The oxo acids produced from nitrogen atom. So how many oxo acids can result from nitrogen atom? Four oxo acids named as hyponitrous acid with H2N2O2 molecular formula. Next HNO2 which is called as nitrous acid. HNO3 nitric acid. HNO3, HNO4 peroxy nitric acid. Now let us learn about among all or four types of oxo acids resulting from nitrogen the most important one is the most importance goes to most importance goes to HNO3 that is nitric acid. So let us learn about preparation of nitric acid. Preparation of nitric acid. So this side heading can help us to establish an idea how to prepare nitric acid in the laboratory. So out of four oxo acids resulting from nitrogen, the most important oxo acid is HNO3 that is nitric acid. So for that we have to learn how to prepare this nitric acid in the laboratory. In the first step, a small scale quantity of nitric acid produced from, produced from potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate a small quantity of nitric acid may results from potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate here when potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid it produces nitric acid let us have chemical reaction which represent the formation of nitric acid by the reaction between sodium nitrate and sulfuric acid NaNO3 when reacts with H2SO4 sulfuric acid here the reaction expected and produces HNO3 plus Na2SO4 so during the reaction we are going to use two moles of sodium nitrate two moles of sodium nitrate when reacted with concentrated sulfuric acid it results as the formation of 
2 moles of nitric acid plus 1 mole of sodium sulfate. The similar reaction expected from potassium nitrate also. 2 moles of potassium nitrate when interact with concentrated sulfuric acid, it yields the formation of the same 2 moles of nitric acid plus 1 mole of potassium sulfate. And second method, the first method is useful to produce nitric acid in small quantities or small scale quantity. Whereas in the laboratory, the large scale, large scale quantity This nitric acid in large scale quantity produced from produced from Ostwald processes. Ostwald's process. So this is the most important method which produces nitric acid in large scale quantity in the laboratory. So let us learn what is Ostwald's process or Ostwald's methods to produce nitric acid in the laboratory. It is nothing but in the in first step ammonia is going to react with oxygen molecules of atmosphere in the presence of Platinum or rhodium gas catalyst. Rhodium gas catalyst at 500 degree kelvins of temperature and 9 bar pressure. So what are the reaction conditions required to perform reaction between ammonia with atmospheric oxygen? So during the reaction or during the preparation of um, uh, nitric acid from Ostwald method, Ammonia went to react with atmospheric oxygen in the presence of platinum or rhodium gas catalyst at 500 degree Kelvin temperature and 9 bar pressure. So during this reaction, there is the expected reaction takes place between these two and produces NO2 nitrogen dioxide plus so how many left over 15 